right now and we're continuing to stay on top of issues that are affecting how you get around Metro Detroit. There is still no deal in place between a road workers union and a contractor association and this is leading to a major work stoppage across Michigan. And this morning we're now learning more about what happened during a union meeting last night. 7 Action News reporter Naya Hardy is joining us live and Naya, how many road projects have been put on hold here just in Metro Detroit? Well, in Metro Detroit alone, we're talking at least a dozen. That's a small fraction when you think about the 200 projects that need to still be complete in Michigan State. And so, of course, it's causing a big concern. We have drivers who are frustrated, politicians now getting involved. And now this meeting, they are trying to still figure out how they're going to get this done before winter. Operating Engineers 324 Union Workers met in Howe last night. It was their first meeting since the lockout. The union says they discussed unemployment claims and that they've been working with the governor's office to try and get things going again. City Mayor's Jim Fouts Warren, excuse me, Warren's mayor Jim Fouts has had enough. Actually, he actually had asked the governor to declare an emergency. Fouts says accidents have gone up in his city 27 percent. Brownston mayor has also reached out to the governor requesting he send in the federal mediation and uh, conciliation service. Drivers in Metro Detroit say traffic is bad. The governor's office says they hope progress will be made before the weekend. But to make things worse, we're told the union and META, the association representing Michigan contractors, are still on no talking terms. As an association, MITA hasn't been any good for our members, and that's why we chose to step away from dealing with them in the future. Uh, but sitting down with the contractors and getting this ironed out would certainly be uh, the best way to handle things from a contract standpoint. META says they have tried negotiating with the union, but the union has refused. Naya Harden, 7 Action News.